The tragic case of kindergarten teacher Catherine Gorospi's murder shook her local community and made headlines across the country. Catherine, a beloved educator from Arizona, met a horrifying fate in October 2017 at the hands of a man she had trusted and tried to help, Charlie Mulzahn. The case is a chilling reminder of how complex and unpredictable human behavior can be, even when someone appears to be acting out of kindness and compassion. Catherine Gorospe, affectionately known by her friends and family as Cat, was a 44-year-old kindergarten teacher who had a reputation for caring deeply about her students. She was described as kind-hearted, always looking out for others, and someone who was willing to extend her hand to those in need. Gorospe's compassion was at the center of the actions that led to her tragic death as she tried to help a troubled man, ultimately paying with her life. Living in the quiet city of Flagstaff, Arizona, Gorospe's life was full of warmth, creativity, and love for the children she taught. Her sudden and brutal murder sent shockwaves through the community, leaving many people asking how such a tragedy could happen to someone who had only wanted to help another person in need. Catherine's fateful encounter began on October 6, 2017, when she decided to help a man she had known, Charlie Malzahn. Malzahn had been in jail for violent offenses, including car theft and robbery. Catherine, in an act of kindness, posted bail for Malzahn, intending to help him get his life back on track. This act of compassion proved fatal for Catherine, as Malzahn's behavior following his release would soon turn sinister. Catherine drove to the Coconino County Jail to post bail for Malzahn with the hope that she could help rehabilitate him and get him on a better path. Little did she know that this act of kindness would lead to a series of events that would culminate in her murder. Charlie Malzahn had a long history of run-ins with the law. He was known to be unstable, struggling with both mental health issues and a violent past. Born in Arizona, Malzahn had a history of criminal activity dating back to his youth. His criminal record was full of charges, including theft, carjacking, and assault, all signs of an unstable man with deep-rooted issues. Despite this, Catherine Gorospe saw potential in Malzahn. Whether she believed she could help him or was simply acting out of a deep sense of compassion, she put herself in harm's way by posting bail for him. Once released, however, Malzahn did not follow the hopeful path Catherine had envisioned. Instead, he embarked on a violent and erratic spree that would eventually lead to her murder. The disturbing details of the murder. After Malzahn was released from jail on October 6, 2017, Catherine was last seen driving away with him in her white Toyota RAV4. This was the beginning of a chaotic series of events that would span several days and multiple locations, as Malzahn's behavior grew more unpredictable and violent. Catherine was reported missing shortly after, when friends and family became concerned after not hearing from her for several days. Investigators quickly began piecing together a timeline of events leading up to her disappearance, and they soon realized something had gone horribly wrong. On October 9, 2017, police caught up with Malzahn after he attempted to use Catherine's credit cards and was driving her vehicle. A violent confrontation occurred during his arrest, during which Malzahn attempted to flee from law enforcement. When he was finally apprehended, Catherine's whereabouts were still unknown, leaving her friends and family to fear the worst. The tragic confirmation came on October 13, 2017, when Catherine's body was found in a remote area near Mayer, Arizona. She had been brutally murdered, her body showing signs of severe trauma. The exact details of her death were horrifying, as it became clear that Malzahn had attacked her with a level of violence that shook investigators and the public alike. The discovery of her body confirmed the worst fears of those who had been holding out hope for her safe return. With Catherine's body discovered, law enforcement swiftly built a case against Charlie Mulzahn. He had not only been found driving her vehicle, 
but he also used her credit cards in various locations across Arizona after her disappearance. His violent behavior during the arrest, combined with the evidence found in his possession, made it clear that he was responsible for Catherine's murder. Malzahn's erratic spree following Catherine's murder included several carjackings, assaults, and other criminal activities. It was evident that he was a dangerous individual, spiraling out of control. His behavior during the days following the murder only served to solidify the case against him. He had shown no remorse for his actions and had continued his violent spree without any regard for the lives he was affecting. In November 2017, Malzahn was formally charged with Catherine Gorosby's murder, along with a host of other charges related to his crime spree. He eventually pleaded guilty to the charges and was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Catherine Gorosby's murder left a profound impact on her family, friends, and the community she had served as a kindergarten teacher. Her death was a devastating loss, and many struggled to understand how such a kind and compassionate person could meet such a violent end. The case also raised difficult questions about the criminal justice system, mental health, and the dangers of trying to help people who may be beyond redemption. In the aftermath of Catherine's murder, her family and friends worked to keep her memory alive. Her love for teaching and her deep compassion for others became the cornerstones of her legacy. Scholarships were established in her name and memorials were held to celebrate her life and the positive impact she had on so many people. The murder of Catherine Gorosby is a tragic reminder of the dangers that can arise from even the most well-intentioned acts of kindness. While Catherine's desire to help Charlie Malzahn came from a place of compassion, her murder highlights the complexities of human behavior and the potential consequences of reaching out to those who may be beyond help. Catherine's legacy, however, lives on through the lives she touched as a teacher and the efforts of her family to honor her memory. The case remains a chilling and heartbreaking example of how unpredictable and violent the world can be even for those with the purest of intentions. Catherine Gorospe will be remembered not for the violence that ended her life, but for the love and care she showed to others throughout her time as an educator and a friend. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. We dive into the most intriguing and shocking crime stories each week and your support means the world to us. Until next time, stay safe and take care of yourself. See you in the next video.